DaVinci Resolve 14 adds some much needed effects capabilities to the edit page. And the first suite of these effects capabilities that I'll go into is the ability to add resolve effects or third-party open effects to clips in the edit page timeline. This is a pretty big deal. We couldn't do it before. So if I open up the effects library and go to the open effects category, these are all of the plugins that accompany DaVinci Resolve. The resolve effects that come with DaVinci Resolve have been divided into categories. And I'm going to go down to the stylized category, and I'm going to use the tilt shift blur plug-in as my example, because that's a pretty obvious one. All I have to do is drag and drop it onto a clip, and that effect has been applied. Now if I open up the inspector and select that clip, you can see that in addition to the video inspector and audio inspector, there's a new open effects panel of the inspector, which shows all of the effects that have been applied to that particular clip. So if I decide that I want to add additional plugins, let's say in addition to this, I want to go ahead and sharpen the end result. I can add as many resolve effects and or open effects to this clip as I want. And each effect that I add is added to this open effects list. So if I double click any one of these effects, I expose the controls for that particular effect one at a time. And if I don't like the order in which I've placed these, in fact, it doesn't really make any sense to sharpen after I've blurred, I have an additional set of controls that allow me to rearrange the order of these effects. So now the sharpen plugin comes before the tilt shift blur plugin. And of course, if I want to get rid of any of these effects, I simply click the trash can and those effects are gone. If you want to learn more about Resolve's new features, you should check out my library of different training titles at rippletraining.com.